we've worked for quite a little while with the guys at Norworld up in Cairns um, and we've developed an exclusive package just for our 79s. Uh, obviously there's a lot of other components that make up this particular build what it is. Um, there's the J Max chassis for one of them, it's the 4495 and the 4 ton brake tow kit. Uh, there's our diesel power unlimited uh, performance package. There's all of our ARV goodies covered in our um, UV rated powder and Department of the Interior. So all of the interior work um, through those guys down there, we've worked with them and put together some really cool, usable, good looking bits and pieces for inside the 79. It's not, it's, you know, it's not over the top. Some might see it as over the top, but it's sort of a lot of it's a bit of a necessity for interior comfort in a 79 series. So firstly, it looks really, really cool, doesn't it? And uh, the silver on black really sort of pops and we've gone with the DPU goodies in blue sort of to try and match the blue on the King's shocks and Blake the customer of this car like the blue color too so as far as performance goes it is a, um, a DPF back ECU churn we put the uh, DPU high flow intercooler on top also there's the uh, catch can we've got a fuel manager pre-filter in there and NPC clutch as well uh, the NPC clutch is normally actually part of the J-Max conversion, but because we're doing the performance we do, it's, it's either done through J-Max or done through DPU. Either or, it needs to be in there to handle the extra power. We upgrade the crank battery to a better um, high cycle, high crank as well, so it's better for using the winches and um, any of the roof lights and stuff like that. Pretty much it, front of the bonnet. It's, it's a package that's reliable and works really well. It's good for towing. This car is quite heavy. It's up around uh, we're up around the 3.8 or 3, yeah, about 3 3.75, 3.8 ton with me in it, full of fuel. It's a 180 litre Brown Davis. It's a uh, 68 litre water tank under the Norweld. It's a big 1900 long Norweld canopy, uh, and obviously the big James Brood Evo Evasion on top. So twin 35s as well. So there's a lot of gear in it. Um, Blake opted to uh, not go with the rear winch. The rear winch isn't for every, isn't for everyone. It's just uh, there is the winch cradle that is there. It makes everyone think that they need a rear winch. You don't need a rear winch if you've never needed one before, but it's convenient having it there. Aside from that, the J-Max component, it is obviously a 300 mil stretch put into uh, the chassis. So the chassis is lopped off. J-Max's new chassis clip comes on, basically splices on. There's a lot of big beefed up brace plates that go all the way underneath the car. Um, part of that is a 300 mil extension. Um, combined with their um, awesome uh, billet radius arms and King shocks. This is a four inch lift. It's all um, four inch and 35 inch tires. It's all road legal. 4.495 ton GPM. Um, it's a four ton brake tow, but it's an eight ton GCM. So if you want to tow four ton, try and keep the car to four ton. If you want to, uh, if, if you're not, if four tons not a problem and you've got a three and a half ton van, then you can sit at four and a half ton GVM and have a full three and a half ton van and be completely safe on the road. It does have a bigger hydro uh, brake booster system under the bonnet to assist in clamping and pulling them up. So anyway, come through this way. I'll show you. We've gone. We've opted with the Pro Comps this time. They're 17 by nine. They look really quite cool. BT bonnet struts as well. But this is the interior, I know it looks pretty sort of standard for a 79, but this whole interior did come out. It's been fully stripped. We have um, sound deadened the whole lot, the roof, floor, all the doors. We've gone with Department of the Interior, um, door pods, Alpine speakers, Alpine head unit, the Department of the Interior, center floor console, and the um, full fascia roof console as well. We prefer to run the, the full fascias. They still sort of offer a lot of head height room and that doesn't sort of seem to intrude too much so we like the sand grabber floor mats and on the 79 this one we didn't have the Recaros in this one so we've just gone with the, um, the wet seat neoprene covers on the front and the rear. Uh, this is where things get really quite cool in here. Behind the back seat is of course some very hard work and time consuming goodness, I suppose. This is a, this rear panel is actually um, from the Department of the Interior. It's a sub box with a um, 
It's a 10 inch R type Alpine. And we've got the um, vinyl padded back wall as well. The Alpine uh, amp platform there is part of the kit. The whole lot obviously being sound deadened. So it's a five channel amp. We're running um, the two front coaxes off that as well. 100 watt RMS to the two fronts uh, each. And we've got a 500 watt RMS mono as part of that. So sounds pretty cool. And you know, that's for the, as far as the interior goes on top, there is a Rhino platform, a Pioneer platform, um, two Thunder 20 inch light bars on the angle and little side lights. All of that is switched from inside the cab. We've got a, and a, one of the last Rad Power 135 watt solar panels as well up top. So one of the coolest parts of it is, is the 1900 Norwell for the 79. It's sort of something that we were trying to I suppose work with them and twist their arms probably about two years ago into developing and now that we've got the chassis strong enough to handle that length and weight um, it drives absolutely beautifully like there's a lot of weight there's a you know 65 kilo roof tent up there we've got 100 kilos of tires on the back it's a big heavy rig and it handles it beautifully so it's uh it's sort of like the perfect match really big um this is new for norwell big Big single drawer instead of the two singles. Um, it's actually a bit more. It's a bigger, more usable area, and we save weight in doing it. We lose two of the um, drawer runners and side supports and stuff. So it's quite cool. Still got the um, overhead shelf options. There's a couple of sizes, and um, yeah, keep an eye out with uh, Norwell soon. There's a few new designs coming out. For sure. And obviously, we've done our our usual. And a drive package inside the canopy, big E Pro Combi. Uh, it's a 1600 watt um, continuous 2400 surge. Uh, we've got the obviously uh, RV standards. We've got our 16 amp, 16 amp double pole RCBO as well, double power point. ARV twin compressor we plumb in with the retractable hose reel. It's just convenient. We've sort of set the Hose reel a little bit further back in case Blake wants to have another fridge here. Be able to lift the lid up still, so sort of tucked away to the back. You can still get to it quite easily. But yeah, four toolboxes. That's that's the standard with any of the stretched cruisers. The um the the base is still a it's a standard base. It's a 1900 full time base um, that you can still put on any of the um, your gen, your generic just stretched chassis 79s. Um, so it's it's all the same down the bottom. It's just the canopy on top is sort of like an exclusive thing for weight wise in this chassis. Big rear drawer, stacks of storage. You can fit max tracks in there as well. That length. Just the rear tow bar section I was explaining to you before where the winch cradle normally is in there, um, but it's not, not totally necessary to have a winch in there if you don't think you need it. So it's just one of our standards is a seven pin genuine tow harness. Anderson plug from the front through an SBI 12, just a 100 amp isolator. And um, the factory Norwell rear ladder, basically drop this down and you're straight up into the tent. There's no need to use the um, the ladder that comes with the James tents. Around this side, it's, it's sort of a very similar layout canopy to what was already on the 200s. Basically drafted it into a narrower, slightly lower profile system to work with the 79. So it's this normal 110 litre upright fridge freezer and big drawer, table, got a little removable shelf at the back there too. You've probably seen in a lot of our photos, we normally um, either raise that up or we can keep it there or remove it all together and put like a Weber in there or something. You can, sky's the limit with what you want to do in the end. But up the front is the basically the other side of our inner drive package where See all of our monitoring. We've got the um, EPRO combi screen display. Shows you exactly how much amps it's pulling off the battery. Power as in VA in 240 volt and 12 volt. And obviously our side marine monitor showing us um, our inputs and outputs. How much um, percentage is coming out, how much current's coming out of the battery and going in. And all the other bits and pieces down further back are sort of just the components to make those two screens work. A lot of isolation devices and fuse blocks. Darty, big uh, 270 degree Darty wrap around. We've got all the wall attachments for that one as well. So Blake can pull up and fully just 
cocoon himself into his little area in the, in the truck. So it's taken a lot of hands on deck to get this truck to where it is today. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy it, mate. It's gonna, it's a, uh, yeah, very jealous, very cool car. So anyway, if you've got any questions, give us a call, send us an email. You can even um, drop a few comments in, in uh, the video when we upload this one as well. So cool guys, have a good one.